Let's talk about Cisco Nexus switches. Is it not the same as Cisco Catalyst switch? Well, both of them are switches, but of course, they are different, different family of switches. Design and use case for Cisco Catalyst switch is not the same with Cisco Nexus. And why? Because Catalyst is more for enterprise slash campus network environment. For Nexus switches, we have this family and it includes 5K, 7K, 6K, etc. But we're gonna focus more on Cisco Nexus 9000 because it's the most advanced among all Nexus series. And for those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I'm the Cloud and Data Center. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Cisco Nexus 9000 series uses Cisco Silicon ASIC or application specific integrated circuit. We use Cisco Nexus 9000 in industry leading data centers. So in short, Nexus 9K is the switch we use in large data center environment. This switch is designed for automation and programmability. And how powerful is Cisco Nexus 9000 series? It started with 10 gig and 40 gig port capacity, but now it provides both 400 and 800 gig and is available in both fixed switches or chassis slash modular platform. Since Nexus 9000 switch is designed for data center environment and in data center networks, there are no wireless connectivity, no IP telephony. So power on over Ethernet or PoE, as well as the wireless integration are not available in Nexus series platform. And Nexus 9000 have two modes. First, Cisco Nexus 9000 in NXOS mode and Cisco Nexus 9000 in ACI mode. So what is the difference? Command and configuration for Cisco Nexus 9000 in NXOS mode. How we configure the switch is based on NXOS. This is the operating system running in all Nexus switch family, which is Cisco IOS like command syntax. We use commands such as config, debug, show, VLAN, and many more. It's like Cisco cattle switch, but more advanced features and commands. Using Nexus 9000 in NXOS mode, you can use any network design spine leaf architecture, three tier hierarchical model, and collapse core. Here is one command that separates NXOS with iOS slash cattle switch. In order for you to use some commands, such as routing, storage, API, etc., we need to enable feature first using feature command. Cisco Nexus 9K in NXOS mode, like any traditional switch, it is standalone. You can provision even a single Nexus 9K switch. Here are the advanced features for Cisco Nexus 9K. All Nexus family switches has these common features. We have fabric extender or FEX, and we have the virtual port channel or VPC. Next, most Nexus switches has the storage features, but for Cisco Nexus 9K, we have iSCSI, FCOE and FC. Both FC and FCOE are in NPV mode only. Then we also have advanced features. These are VXLAN, EVPN, MPVGP, and many more. Lastly, we have the programmability and automation features, such as NX API, built in Sandbox, and since it runs in Linux, it has Linux containers, XMPP, and many others. You want to learn more network automation using Cisco Nexus switches? Open a web browser and type www.surian.com.
This will take you to the Zurin website. Click training and this will redirect you to the training webpage. Here you will see various courses. You can filter Python courses and now only Python related courses are displayed, such as Python for network engineers, data center use cases, and Python and cybersecurity web attacks. Here is another mode, application centric infrastructure or ACI mode. It's only available in Cisco Nexus 9K. This is the software defined networking or SDN solution of Cisco, and it only works with spine and leaf architecture. It does automated provisioning, such as IS to IS routing, VXLAN, MPBGP, and even the basic IP addressing. So in short, no need to learn VXLAN. No need to learn MPBGP VPN is all automated. Aside from automated provisioning, it has built-in automation features as well with available Python SDK for you to integrate ACI to third-party platforms. The goal of SDN solution is to centralize the configuration and policy. Even if you have only 20 switches or if you have 50 or even 100 switches, you don't need to configure every single switches. You just create policies and configuration via controller. And what is a controller? Since ACI is not a standalone solution, it's an SDN solution, controller is required. We call it Application Centric Infrastructure Controller or APIC. This is where you configure policy and it will automatically push configuration to all fabric switches. So, what do you think? Which one is better? Cisco N9K in NXOS or in ACI mode? Maybe. Some of you are still confused. What should your organization choose? NXOS or ACI mode? We'll talk about it more in the next video. Comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to hit the like button.